Hi, I'm Hans, and today I'm going to pick on something a little, um, specifically when it's done. Uh, in the Amiga computer world, we used to hear that a lot. It'll be done when it's done, or a smart aleck way, uh, it'll be done in two more weeks. And it's always two more weeks away. Basically, it's software development with no deadlines. Now, that's kind of alluring. As a, as a software developer, I'd say I don't really like deadlines because it's hard to impossible to accurately predict how long something's going to take because um, often you're doing research and, and there are a lot of little details and some little detail can cost you a lot of extra time, right? So yeah, this is like, well, we don't know how long it's going to take. So just let us work until it's done. And I think that's, that's downright dangerous. Um, and I'll explain why with an example, uh, Warp 3D Nova. So Warp 3D Nova is a 3D uh, shader based graphic system for the Amiga, which I created at the time. It was my most, the most ambitious project I'd ever taken on. And if I hadn't had deadlines, then I would have been thinking about all the things that we'd want to have in it someday and I'd be trying to future proof all the decisions that I'm making and taking forever to make decisions, which I could still get wrong because I'm doing it in a vacuum. I don't know exactly what, what's, what's, what's needed. And I think the project would probably have grown and bloated and I would be over engineering things. And eventually it would probably collapse under its own weight. Um, and people would in the Amiga world would still be waiting for a modern 3D graphics system. But I didn't do that. Instead, I set deadlines. Now they weren't public at the time, but I, I had deadlines that I was working to. I had milestones. And what this did is it forced me to focus. It's like focus on what's most important. What key features will make the biggest difference to the end users and the developers who will be using the, the graphic system. And then as the deadlines come in closer and I feel like I'm going, I'm lagging behind and I'm going to miss it again and say, like, what, what features or what things are most important? Is there anything I can do faster? Uh, notice that I'm not talking about what kind of hacks and shortcuts can I take around? I'm still trying to write quality software. It's just like, what really matters? And at the same time, it's, it's preventing me from agonizing over decisions because I don't have that luxury. Now, admittedly, when it was first released or f I first let other people use it, um, some of the feedback was uh, kind of harsh, uh, kind of harsh to take, but it was absolutely essential to make it a quality product and it would not be anywhere near as good as it is now if it went for having those deadlines, getting it out to people fast, uh, getting the feedback I need and iteratively improving it. Now, if you find deadlines scary, then call it a target date, it's slightly softer. You don't need to make that target date public if you don't want to. Um, I didn't with Warp 3D Nova, I, I still don't with a lot of things. Um, Although I would advise you to have somebody else who knows. And the reason for that is somebody else is holding you accountable because when you're the only one who knows if, if that deadline or target date is just in your head, then it's so easy to just let it slip and forget about it. And then it's as good as not having a deadline. And there's, there's one other thing that's important and that is make sure that the deadline or target date is realistic because if, you create a deadline and I know that's happened in, in, in companies before where the project manager creates deadlines that everybody thinks is bogus. Like everybody, nobody, nobody believes that that is possible. And when you don't believe it's possible, you're not really going to try, are you? All right. So make sure that it's a deadline or a target that you honestly believe is feasible. All right now, will you reach it every time? No. Uh, will you go over time? Will you have public publicly have to admit, oh, we're, it's delayed? Sure, but that's way better than having a project take way too long, get 
bloated with unnecessary features and then you release it to people and you discover that what you thought was important, they don't find important. What they, what they really need is something else. And it's, it's just too risky. So yeah, I would advise you to always, even with, even with sort of hobby projects, I think it's good to have some kind of target in mind. Now with hobby projects, there's no, it's no big deal if you miss the deadline. But it still, it helps you focus like what, what really matters, what's important. And it prevents the, the feature creep and the dreaming sky high from derailing the project.